What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Josh Trihane. For today's video, I wanted to do something interesting that I've seen a couple videos on uh, YouTube and like a bunch of people doing, and it's testing out to see if the Tesla Model 3 is actually able to go as fast as it says on the website. So on the website it says that it can go uh, to zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 5.6 seconds. So for today's video, I just wanted to try it out and uh, see if the information on there is actually correct because some videos I've seen, uh, the car does it and then some videos it doesn't. So I don't know if it's depending on, uh, on the car or the weather or whatever it is, but for today's video, that's what we're gonna test out. Um, I'm going to a spot where I know that there's not a lot of cars. Um, that way we don't have to worry about uh, traffic and stuff. So I'm just going down this one street right here. Uh, it's going like right into the middle of the forest. So it should be a good location, but um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do for today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to my channel and you wanna see more videos uh, on the Tesla or the, just the Model 3 in general, subscribe. Also, if you have any questions or videos that you want me to make in regards to the car, um, leave those in the comments as well. So uh, I'm about to get there in a second. So um, just a couple more minutes, but there's this huge, truck in front of me that's taking forever and driving on the other side of the road so eventually we will get there all right guys we made it out to uh, where we're gonna be filming so today this is the standard range plus so if you guys go on the website and you actually look at the what Tesla says about the speed of the car it says that it'll go 0 to 105.6 seconds now the car has right now 288 kilometers left on the battery so I don't know if battery plays a part in how fast the car goes or how fast it picks up but this is the standard range plus it's a rear wheel drive um, I know a lot of you guys on the other videos commented and already knew that but if you didn't that's what this is. I didn't upgrade and get anything crazy or get the performance model or anything. So for those of you guys that are looking at getting this car, um, I got it because it was the most affordable. And if you guys are doing the same thing, then this will be for you guys. But um, I'm gonna do three different rounds and see like what the average is of them and see if it actually matches up to what the website says. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's do the first round. All right, so as you guys can see, the car has 289 kilometers on it right now. So I tried to charge it as much as I could before I got out here. Um, and then these are what the roads look like. So I'm just gonna get up to a spot here where there's no cars and then I will put it and uh, I'll stop the car and then I'll see how fast it can go. And then I'll also have a timer on me so you guys can see um, what the car is actually doing. Okay, so this is the first round. We're gonna go zero to 100 and see how long it takes. Ready, set, go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Five point seven. All right, so that was the first one. That was actually not bad. I feel like the website says it's supposed to do five point six. So, and I feel like I was pretty accurate on hitting the stop button. All right, this is the second round. Three, two, one, go. Five point one. We're gonna do this one. We're on a straight road. We're gonna figure out if it actually does go 5.6 <laughs> seconds or it's... I think if we had like a proper, if we were doing it properly, it'd be good. Okay, ready? Ready. This is gonna be just another one. Let's see, ready? Three, two, one, go. 5.7. I feel like it's very close. Like, well, it probably is 5.6, it's the, just... The first one was 5.7, this one was 5.8. Should we do one more time? Uh, we'll yeah. just do one more time and see if it's... Uh, let's see if we can get it to 5.6. I feel like I hit it like right on 100, so... Three, two, one, go. 5.8. Three, two, one. 5.4. I feel like that was actually very accurate. Yeah, that was a way better one. So I, I feel like this one, I felt like I pushed it exactly when we got to 100 kilometers an hour. 
and it says 5.4 on the website it says 5.6 and the average I think of all of these and that is was a be, little bit of a downhill almost yeah so I think that the average of these is gonna be about 5.6 right I yeah. feel like it's pretty accurate like if it was like 6.5 or like 7 or something like that then I'd be pretty thrown off but I feel like because it's in the fives that it's pretty accurate. I feel like it's pretty good. So just got home, about to plug the car in. I'm excited to edit this because I feel like we'll be able to see like when I actually click the stop button and like to see how accurate I was. But the car is surprisingly like, it surprised me today. I thought that it was gonna be a little bit more off than what the website says. So that was super impressive. And I did have uh, 290 kilometers on my battery. So I don't know if that would affect it at all if the battery was full. Also, by the time you guys see this video, I would have gone to my appointment on Monday to get my car checked out because it's still doing that weird thing on my maps where it's like going all over the place and uh, it's hard when I'm navigating and stuff so I got that checked out which I feel like I'm talking to myself in the future but I would have gotten that checked out by now and um, and so everything should be okay but another thing that that I didn't really realize and something that could be kind of interesting for those of you that are ordering this car if you do order your car with a referral code, uh, when I was buying mine, I was told that um, I would get, I think it was like 7,500 kilometers of free charging at a supercharger. And then when I bought the car, I went to a supercharger the other day and it charged me like $8 or something to charge it. But I was kind of confused because I thought that it was supposed to be free. So then when I phoned them, they said that the kilometers, the free kilometers because of the referral doesn't get on for like a whole month or something or like two weeks after you purchase the car. So they told me a month, but I think that it's supposed to be shorter than that. So right now when I'm supercharging and stuff, I'm having to pay for it. But they said eventually it should be put on there and should be free. So I used Marquez Brownlee's code because I didn't really know, uh, I didn't know anybody that had a Tesla. So. So yeah, that's just another little thing that you can expect if you are getting the car. So yeah, I have a bunch of other videos that I've filmed that I'm gonna be uploading. Also, if you do have any questions or you wanna see our, our particular thing with this car, uh, let me know in the comments. So I've been reading a lot of the comments on the other videos and thank you guys for being so supportive. And I'm really just trying my best to make interesting content with this car because I was super into it before I got it and I feel like now that I have it, it's only right to like film the content that I was watching. So let me know what you guys want to see. I'm going to just continue to make the stuff that I was watching before. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Like I said, I have a bunch of other videos that I'm going to be uploading and you'll get notified if you do subscribe. So yeah, hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.